Ciao, I'm Enzo. I'm Celia. This is our channel where we show you how life is in Lucca. And in the Tuscan hills. I love cooking traditional food. And we love exploring our beautiful part of the world. So please, subscribe and welcome to Piazza Talk Luca. So when you come to Luca, it's nice to have a souvenir. And as we know of the world, everything becomes more and more standard. But in Luca, if you go off the main street, you can still find craftspeople. And one of them is a friend, Michele Francesconi. And she has a, a, a little workshop in Via Brustraghi, which is just off Via Filungo at the north end. And you can have uh, buy one of her bespoke bags. So she has this very small collection of handmade bags. And today she's going to make a bag for me. So, uh, let's go in. Her shop is called Califera, which is Greek meaning bringing beauty. And these bags uh, are really special, but you can also have belts. And let's see what she's got inside. And she has a lovely cook Espanol called Oliver. Ciao, 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 Bottega. It's a, a, a bottega is a, a. Would you call it a bottega or a studio? Uh, bottega is good. It's good. It's a, it's a, a little shop. How long have you had it? it yeah, three, three years. Three years? Yes. And how long have you been making bags? Six years. Six years? Yes. Today, uh, Miguel is going to make me a bag. Uh, with some slightly different because with some leather that I had left over from book binding so it's actually goat skin so uh, poor girl <laughs> making her work and uh, uh, she's going to base it on on this design which actually could also be for cosmetics she could also use it as a makeup bag or um, or oh. as a handbag it's a very uh, adaptable design and this one has got Leather ends of material. Okay, so now we've come into uh, Michaela's laboratory or, or studio or workshop. Uh, and uh, she's got two rooms here. And uh, now, um, first of all, Michaela has to uh, find the pattern. So she's got patterns for all of her bags. And... Um, So as I said, the, the skins are uh, a bit different because they're uh, my skins. <laughs> so they're, they're book binding skins. So they're rather softer. So I'm not being very kind <laughs> to Michaela. So uh, these are both uh, goat skins, um, vegetable tan goat skins from, uh, I can't remember where they're from, but I think they're Moroccan. I've got two bits of skin because I used them to make a, a fine binding for a client. So um, we're going to have a, a bicolor mm -hmm. bike. <laughs> so the first thing Michaela does is put the pattern and cut the leather. Yes. And what do you cut with? Oh, you're using uh, all to all right. to mark the. The uh, uh, this one it's only to mark the corners or score it. Segnare. To yeah, to score the leather okay, to yeah. to mark it. Mm -hmm. And then I have this one. And cut. a scalpel. Yes.
So Miguel is now uh, cutting the corners. Italy has a big uh, tradition in uh, leather goods and si. leather making. Um, and it's wonderful that uh, people like Michela are, are keeping this tradition going. If you have one model or uh, this model of bag, how long does it take you to make it? Um, two hours. What's the black tape for? I due, le due asoline più che altro servono anche per la tracolla se ce la vuoi mettere. Ah, ok. Ah, so the loops? Sì. In order to, to sign it with Michele's stamp, she has a tool. Questo è veramente artigianale. Yeah. Which is, we call a finishing tool. Uh, I don't know what you call it. Uh, and so it's got her, her name on it. And you have to heat it up in order that um, it stamps on the leather. Otherwise, uh, the leather would just spring up again. <laughs> so you literally, you burn it in to sí. the leather. This leather, or both these leathers, are used on books. It's very old leather, and look, it hasn't worn at all. Or well, it hasn't changed. Quando fai uh, le borse, mm -hmm. tu vai un borso completo o tu vai come una, come dici? Eh, in serie vai. Sì, in serie. No, oh, faccio una borsa completa. Completa. Sì, non mi riesce a fare le cose in serie. E poi perché preferi, a fine giornata preferisco vedere che cose più, cose, più cose diverse. Ma perché tu hai deciso di prendere una bottega, uno studio qui e non lavorare da casa? Perché avevo voglia di, di far conoscere il mio prodotto a più gente, a più gente non solo online, perché 
quando mi è capitato di fare alcune fiere e vedevo che l'approccio proprio con le persone era, è diverso che online cioè online sì, apprezzi il mio lavoro lo se la fotografia è fatta bene ok vedi che è un prodotto di qualità eh, però lo apprezzi quando comunque ti arriva il prodotto e lo hai tra le mani invece cioè le, vedere le persone che le, lo vedono e lo apprezzano subito è, è una soddisfazione I, I think that più grossa the, the one thing about coming here is that you can feel the material and the love that goes into these goods cioè poi a me piace parlare con le persone cioè, anche quando arrivano appunto i turisti di altre città, di altri paesi, io chiedo, ci faccio conversazione. ti schiaccio proprio il bordo ah, ti sì il perché se io ora lo giro lo giro e, sì. e rimane così il bordo ti rimane e che è stupido so it's like it's it squishes it or uh, we, we'd pair it but it's in order that you get flat scenes so you don't have a, a bulge mm -hmm. Michaela leaves a bit in the middle of the lining open so she can turn the bag the right way out. And one of the lovely things about watching craftsmen is just watching their hands.
Sto pensando. <ride> Sto pensando... No, quella è barba. Uh. Quanto la vorresti lunga? Eh, because I'm a complicated person, I like to have my bags that go over and I don't have enough leather. So, uh, Michele has made me this beautiful strap which she used for her cutting. Che dici? Così, va bene. Sì, sì, sì. sì. Poi a me piace, io le porto anche più alte, quindi... Te... E penso di, di là. Sì, questa sì, è sì. comoda, sì. Sì. Allora, dovrebbe essere... Sì? So, it's probably a bag... Made to measure. <laughs> so, to get my bag, I, I'm I'm really moved. It's it's so special. Are you happy? I'm more than happy. I I can't tell you. It's beautiful, and the work and the love and the thought that has gone into it makes this so so special. And the great thing is that you can come to Michaela and you can have something as wonderful and exotic as this, but you can also have little simple things and take something really special home from your holiday that you can't find anywhere else. Mm. So, Michaela, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and look. Wow. Where are you supposed to do it from today? Absolutely. <laughs> I'll probably throw all my other bags away. But I think I might keep it for best. <laughs> if you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, leave a like and activate the notification bell. Thank you very much. Don't forget to check out Michaela's website, Pellifera, and the link will be in the description box below. I should add, we're not affiliated with Michaela. We just like to support our friends who are doing wonderful work. And now let's take a look around at her beautiful designs in the Bottega. Let's have a look at what um sort of bags and um, leather goods Michele makes. And, and the great thing here is that uh, if you uh, don't have lots of room or want to spend, you can also buy small things like uh, leather key rings or... Questo sono per... Yeah, for change. Look how sweet it is. And look at the quality of the leather. They're just so beautiful to touch. Mm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, and uh, Michaela, I noticed that you like to work with earthy colors. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, why do you like to work with earthy colors? Ho scelto i colori della terra perché molto spesso mi sono mi trovo a progettare una nuova quando devo progettare una nuova borsa mi trovo a prendere proprio ispirazione dalla natura. Tutti i miei prodotti sono realizzati con tessuti e pellami. I pellami sono a concia vegetale. So okay. what uh, Michele is saying is that uh, she was inspired by, uh, by nature and that these, these colors um, uh, go for every season because they're, they're, they're natural colors like greens and ochre. Uh, and all the leather is vegetable tanned. So these beautiful colors, as you can see with the portfolios, are all lovely natural colors. And the material 
that Michaela uses when she's using leather and materials are either recycled or they're all natural materials with natural vegetable dyes. So let's have a look at, at a few of the, the bags you make. You, you started off uh, with backpacks. Yes. To measure. And so uh, let's look at your backpacks. Can we have a look inside one? Yes. <laughs> Uh, this is this the first uh, model uh, that I uh, designed. Design, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and what do you call it, this model? Aventura. Adventure. Adventure. So um, it's got a lovely. See? Forte. Brava. Yeah. Nice and. And look how it's all stitched beautifully. Unwrap it. I've got lots of room inside and it's beautifully lined so and it's also slightly reinforced on the back si. so it's comfortable to wear uh, so. uh, yeah, in, in front of ah, the and there's the a, a zipped pocket yes which as we all know is really really useful you see how beautifully they're made and of course you can alter the straps and look how they're beautifully shaped and stitched. These bags look gorgeous. These ones here? Energia. Energy. See. Si. And these are a handbag, but you can attach a crossbody. Uh, yes, a strap. See. Si. <laughs> okay. Inside. Aside. And look, beautiful and it's got an inside zipped pocket as well as two other pockets. And it's got a front pocket as well. So these are, and these are made of calf? Si. Both of them are calf skin. Now this is a, perhaps a more traditional bag. <laughs> si. <laughs> um, è una, è una forma un po' vintage. Yeah. Retro. Yes, it is. Yes, a slightly more uh, retro, um, but um, I think it's quite popular, isn't it? As a, sì. Uh, eh, il, in italiano si chiama El Secchiello. Uh, a bucket bag. A, a bucket bag. Bucket bag. Yes. Sorry, but... So, and again, we look a beautiful inside pockets, which are, are just so important. And McKinley's bags are very adaptable, so you can make the strap longer if you wanted to put it across your shoulder as opposed to just over one shoulder. And what's nice, you can see the different, the slight shadings and uh, sometimes skins have slight imperfections that just show how, how beautiful these skins are. And you can see how beautifully the bottom's done. This little cutie number? Mm -hmm. Harmonia. Harmony, which has got a little drawstring. Now, I think this is, a, this bag to me is a very modern girl about town sort of little bag. What's this bag called? Respiro. Respiro. Breathe. Breathe. Looks like a, a London bag to me. It, it's a lovely sort of going out little, little bag. And look at that. Look at the, the pocket. Basket, <laughs> And then, look, it's just adorable. I love this bag. Questa, questa modello di borsa è, è, richiama le vecchie cartelle degli anni Ottanta. Ah, oh, so it's like a, a, a little satchel bag. Sì. I think that's maybe, I've got to think about satchel bags. <laughs> so maybe that's why I'm so dry. I think that's just adorable. Now this is, this is your kind of business ladies yeah. bag. <laughs> Come si chiama very questo? Big. Tracce. Tracce. And this has a zip. Crossbody too. Ah, si, sì, questo è particolare, aspetta. So it's rather like yes. one of the other bags. Ah, inside. So you can take the middle out and put it inside. And then it's got a little... Um, oh dear, come si chiama questa clips in English? Come si chiama questa? Like a doglet. Dogly clip. Oh dear, I can't remember the name. And there you are. And a little pocket at the side. And again, 
you can put it over your shoulder. <laughs> if you just want a smaller gift, here's a beautiful uh, glasses case that you could also use for pens or... But I think it's perfect for glasses. And a little going out bag. Como se llama este model? Época. Época. So, um, century. Epoch. Time. Time. Uh, age. age. And again, a very, a very modern little bag that you could slip inside designer and then have this for the evening. Sí. O per una ceremonia, per un evento. Or for a wedding or, sí. yes. And you could, again, you can use it as a clutch mm -hmm. or around Proper. your neck. This is a, an artist portfolio. Sí, exacto. Uh, and how beautiful to go to your drawing classes mm -hmm. or out and around. Bellissima. It's really lovely. Qui, qui in, in, su questa, bor su questa um, eh, borsa qua in particolare si notano tutti i, Imperfezioni. le imperfezioni sì, del, della concia vegetale, della concia naturale. So, it, Uh, as Michele pointed out, you can see all the imperfections, which for an artist bag is perfect. Sì, a poi a me piace non non buttarli, ma valorizzarli. Yeah, make it part of your sì. design. And, and on this one, you can see uh, more clearly that all her bags are signed. So you really know you've got something very special. Unique. And unique. As well as um, bags and handbags, uh, you can have wallets and um, notebooks and, of course, belts. Mm. And these belts are unlike belts that you buy in shops uh, that are kind of mush leather. These are real pieces of leather and this belt will last a lifetime and beyond. So um, for very little, you can have an heirloom there. And all these different bottle designs. This one, this one's very great fun with two. Yes, sí. it's very good to the almost like a serpent. <laughs> <laughs> Michele says it looks like the, the bite of a snake, which is true. <laughs> and this one as well is rather unusual. Sì, però queste sono belle viste indossate perché quando le metti c'è doppio. Sì, perché se, sembra. Ora te lo faccio vedere. Questa è grande, quindi. Yeah, uh, Michele is very slim. <laughs> è, è grande per me. So Somebody a little, a little larger, shall we say? <laughs> Bellissimo. Sì, sono tutte fibbie molto particolari che vanno sicuramente viste indossate. <laughs> This is a masupio that actually Michaela uh, made a long time ago, but you can still get them. Okay. And you can see how beautifully leather ages. Quanti anni fa? Due anni. So, but of uh, hardware yes. every day. And so look how beautiful they become. So they just get more beautiful as the years yes. go by. All these bags can be personalized. If you're in Luca, go and visit Michaela in her workshop. And if not, you can buy through her website. She will also be running leather making courses so you can make your own special little leather gift. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, leave a like and activate the notification bell. You just need a Google account and it's free. It helps our community enormously. Thank you very much.